A computer hacker has infiltrated the Sony PlayStation gaming network, leaving 77 million global users vulnerable to identity and credit card information. I woke up this morning and I could not sign in. The cyberverse is all abuzz over the latest corporate giant to fall victim to a major breach of online security. It looks like we have a hacker in the PlayStation network. And indeed, Sony did. The PlayStation 3 network went down last week, and Sony is under fire for taking so long to reveal the full extent of the potential disaster for its 77 million customers connected to the gaming network. The hacker has gained access to their names, addresses, email details, passwords and credit card numbers. It would appear that the risk in relation to credit cards uh, may be low, but if people have concerns, they should be talking to their banks and, and watching for unauthorised usage of the cards. It's not known how many Australians could be affected. Technology experts say the real threat to customers is the potential theft of their identity. The credit card thing's almost less important than protecting the rest of your identity, and it's the passwords and personal information that you've really got to be aware of. What, where do you use those elsewhere on the internet? Multinationals have long been targeted by hackers. Theories during the rounds in this case focus on a payback attack for Sony getting tough on a hacker known as Geohot. A lawsuit against him was recently settled. There's no word yet on who's responsible for this attack and very few words coming out of Sony. The company has said it can't rule out if credit card numbers have been stolen and customers have been advised to change their usernames and passwords.